We'll start with a Mustad C49S, size 12, curved caddis, a merger hook. So this is a ultra simple uh, hatching midge that has worked incredibly well for me. You have to use Dyneema or GSP thread. So we'll attach a bit of thread just there and then what we want to do is spin our thread anti-clockwise to open up the fibres like so. See that those are getting flat because the finer the body on this pattern the better it is. So we want to just go back now with the thread flat every 10 or so turns spin it again anti-clockwise to flatten the thread out and we want to go deep into the bend. This is a super fine body effect we're going after. Again spin it to open the fibres and just wind it down. There we are. Then we take a whatever colour really you want to use for the body but I'm using red here. So we just mark the body with a red waterproof marker. Let's do the underside. There we are. Then we spin the thread clockwise to make a rope out of it. All the fibres spinning together. This will be our rib. So now what we want is a little bit of red left there. So we'll just go around there once like so. Then we'll go up with the thread just to make a super fine rib. And when we get to about there we cut a piece of white poly yarn and you see when you take it off the card you get a, a fold in it so we just place the fold around the hook bend like that and we lift the thread up and position the poly yarn now we'll make a couple of turns just to keep it in position hold them both up together And go around them like this and we want to just build up a wee bit of post at the bottom so we have something solid to put the parachute tackle on. So we just don't want to go up too far that'll do us fine. And this you can tie in all the manner of colours and sizes and I'm just doing it on a 14 here so on a 12 sorry so you can manage to see what's what's going on. Try and get all our fibres straight and it's easy to handle. There we are. Now you see my bobbin is spinning naturally anti-clockwise so I need to just help that along because I need to split the thread now. So I'll just go to there. There we are. A little bit more. And this uh, floating poly yarn from Vanyards uh, gives a real nice little sparkle in the wing. So we just split our thread. I've loaded another Petitjean clip with a colour that he calls light mallow, which I think is a really nice winging colour. So we'll just place that in the thread like so, and then we'll spin it up. Spin the bobbin first, and then we'll just get that going. You don't need any thorax or anything on this pattern, uh, as it is here, has been phenomenal for me, especially for large trout that are taking midges. So we go up as you would do with a para loop pattern and once you've done half of the dubbing loop which is about there we come back down again into the what we've uh, already wound upwards so, go under the existing Excellent. and then we just come around and 
to the front of the hook. And we make a whip finish. Remove our tying thread. Take a dubbing brush and just brush out the any trapped or folded CDC fibres for the wing. This uh, this pattern I've seen on big fish that are taking small flies has, has worked fabulous for me in Iceland. So we just pull everything up like this. It's a very strong hook. The C49 we pull everything up. Take some scissors. tighter together like so and we cut everything off at the same level and that's it it's that easy and no trout teeth will destroy this dynema body uh, it's what they use for making bulletproof vests so and knife proof vests so that will last just about forever or a very long time as a fly goes and it will also float all day long and beyond a great little pattern well worth trying thanks for watching